Oh, I was going to show you guys this video real quick. Hot here. as fuck. Are you, I know, it gets hot in here real fast when we're yakking. I know. Is that much exhaust coming out of us? Hot air. Hot air. <laughs> Fucking exhaust. It's our souls leaving our body. <laughs> oh, shit, I thought I saw it. Saved it. Okay, what do we do next so I can get prepared? Let's do, oh, my, let's do common yeah. nightmares around the world. Oh, I, like I got something one. there too, yeah. You got it? Fucking teeth falling out. Right. I always thought that meant you need more sex, but apparently it says other People things. People die. Yeah. I don't know. I thought it was meaning that, like, when you lose teeth, that... You gotta get screwed more. So. I'm curious. <laughs> what is... Screwed? What's that? Okay, listen to this girl. What she says is so true. It's so dead on. Like, I thought teeth was, uh, like, you're, you're missing, you're searching for something, you're missing out on something. You're missing out on sex! Oh no, she only has a few videos. This Welcome was it. Welcome to a new edition of Shit I Wish I Knew. Oh, Dream Interpretation Edition. Yeah, I'm interpreting your dreams. To dream about a fox in your dream represents insight, cleverness, cunningness, and resourcefulness. The dream might be telling you to exhibit more of this in your waking life, or that you may need to conceal your thoughts and be a little bit more discreet in certain situations in your life. Don't show your cards. Could be a warning that somebody in your life is sly and sneaky. Mmm, bad face. It can also indicate a time of isolation and loneliness. No joke, it says it could also be an indication that a foxy lady might be coming into your life. Hello. <laughs> to dream about a wolf in your life symbolizes no, this survival, wasn't the video. beauty, to find it, solitude, but... mystery, self-confidence, and pride. You can blend into any situation and keep your composure with ease and grace. No, you are also a loner <laughs> by choice. Yeah, I know. It's a little distracting. <laughs> uh... There was a chick on Facebook that I used to watch intermittently that does makeup while she... Yeah, she doesn't really have that many hmm. videos on here. Not like... That's weird. Anyway. Sometimes they get reported. Fucking TikTok is absolutely insane right now. This... I'm watching this one reported and... Okay, so we'll just go into it and... Go into it. We're still recording. We're back. Here we are. Dun, 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 Best drum roll I can do. Dun, dun, dun. All, I know, all I know is the rim shot. Yeah. Anyway. This is Jazz. And Cher. And Jan Jan. And Jan Jan. <laughs> from the Babel Merchants. I know what it's called, but I have to keep looking at her She's business card because I'm so scared away. I'm going to screw it that in up. Here nice. Babel Merchants. Babel. Babel. Merchants. Excellent. Uh, yeah, so lunches. we're just recording some Rambleso's, having some bevies and some munchies. Well, we're kind of done with the oh, munchies. munchies are I'm kind of done with the bevies. It's a, it's a dry night for me. I have a wedding tomorrow to go to. So, oh, not to say I'm going to on you. Foo foo. Foo foo on you. We, we, uh, get all like pinky up and all that formal <laughs> shit. Foo foo on you. Anyway, no. Uh, probably not going to drink tomorrow night anyway, but just, you know, whatever. <laughs> so tonight is a ramble so We've been punching out a bunch of episodes and, uh, we were punched. <laughs> <laughs> well, we were, we're on hiatus for a bunch of reasons and we're back. Hopefully, for a bunch of reasons. Well, nobody needs to know our shit. No. 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 None yeah. None you None you out there now. <laughs> Uh, but we do love spooky shit and a lot of people reached out to us telling us shit and sharing spooky shit and juicy shit. Stuff. Uh, no, that was creepy juicy. Oh, creepy juicy. That's our newer term. Or juicy creepy. Creepy oh, juicy. Too. Yeah. T-shirt coming soon on that one. <laughs> and tonight is a ramble. So we are going to be talking about common nightmares around the world. Do, do, do. Cause we love dreams and all that weird shit. Yeah. Except we don't like night paralysis. No. Oh no. That's, that's I don't like nightmares thing. either. You don't you don't record your sleeping anymore, do you, Jen? No, not after I heard somebody whispering and fuck <laughs> that, no. And that, yeah, no. Yeah, it's too I, creepy. Yeah, no. I started recording and because I wasn't sleeping well. Right, and you want to figure out better? why? Yes. Now oh, that you don't. Yeah. Hear, <laughs> now that I don't listen back to any recording, so I don't yeah, know who's whispering at me. So exactly. ignorance yeah. is bliss. Yeah, like the cat and the dog are take care right. of shit. That's yeah. <laughs> Blinders on when you sleep, so to say, but yeah. for your ears. Yeah, you know? I think I sent you that recording. Yes, and we we featured it on one of our episodes. Yeah. 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 Um. What was I gonna say? I don't know. It, it was funny when we were doing. Uh, what was it the first episode earlier today? We were talking about dreams and stuff. Yeah. We got a little deep there, right? And what we were talking about is. Oh, because we're doing Reddit stories where people Reddit. say that they heard Reddit. Reddit. People heard um, voices talking while they were sleeping or yeah. something. And I said to Cher, you know, I came to that realization the other day. You know, when you're concentrating in your dream, you're taking care of stuff, stuff's happening, you have a scenario, you're dealing with other people, whether it's real or not, or if it's just something, you know, you're just going in it, existing in your dream, doing stuff. 
have you ever heard like backdrop voices and other conversations? And I have. So I said to share something that's not part of the main event. If you, you know think I mean? about it, like because no? you're zoned in on next time, zone next time in. You're dreaming. Think and, about it and see if you can pick up additional conversations. Like when you're in a restaurant and there's other people yeah. talking at other tables, it's kind of like that. Like a but like in a, a dream, murmur in you know, the like a murmur. And I've had that happen quite a lot, and I'm like, shit, maybe that's something else that going on. Is that in your dream? Is that in your real? You know or what I'm saying? Whispering in your ear, or is it somewhere in between? Bingo. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, like yeah. Uh, lucid dreaming, you know, who yeah. knows, right? Anyway, but back on topic here. Mm-hmm. Uh, there's common nightmares around the world, and I found a few, apparently, uh, like stuff like, say, um, we've got like a top 10 of common nightmares and their meanings, right? And and how, where it's experienced most throughout the world. Throughout the world. I, cool. I have some that I just Googled mm-hmm. about how many people, how many times people search these up. Let's see if my match for yours. Okay. We'll do, Buckaroo. I have teeth falling out. Yeah, that's my number one. So dreams about your teeth falling out can reflect your anxieties about your appearance and how others perceive you. However... When I was a kid, an old wives' tale was, when you dream of teeth falling out, somebody in your family is going to die. See, and mine was, you need more sex. <laughs> Bow, <laughs> Not chico. mine personally. Bow, chico, <laughs> wah, wah. Just what someone told me. My grandmother always said, if a bird came to your windowsill, that meant someone was going to pass away. Or hit it. That's... Well, it can't it, be but if hit. they came and sat on your oh. on your windows and pecked at it, bird, yeah, and oh. pecked at it. I guess they could peck, but they no. could just happily yeah. perch. Ours, ours yeah. was the wise tale I knew when I was a kid. If a bird hits your window and dies, somebody in your family. Well, fuck, die. man, birds hit my window all the time, but they don't always die. Go save them. So, oh well, yeah, you try to. Yeah. I go, I go and pick them up. Okay, you know how many times that's googled monthly, by the way? How many? Eighty-one thousand times in the U.S. Holy shit! Hmm. Mm-hmm. And I've never had a dream of my teeth falling out. Holy shit! I did shit. once. I did once. Uh, I don't know if anyone uh, died uh, then. Though now I'm gonna have to fucking think about that. Did someone die then? Well, I'm gonna have to Google this because mine's kind of like a dead end. I want to find out more. Oh, here we go. And the toothers? Yeah. So the toothless dream is mostly experience. It says it doesn't have a number, but it says USA, Canada, and Australia. They're the ones that predominantly dream or report dreaming about losing teeth, having teeth. USA, Canada, Australia? Yeah, yeah, that's what I have too, yeah. But then also a common dream around the world collectively is about snakes. I know, that is. Yeah. I've never dreamt of a snake I've either. never dreamt of a snake either. I've never, oh no, I have. Spiders that is, snakes, yeah, I that's have. the second one for Wait. like most commonly looked up nine, 19,000 times in the wow. US that people Crazy. search that up, yeah. Yeah, and it says, uh, so basically, dreaming about snakes are featured as the most common dream in more than a third of all countries, from Brazil, India, to Kazakhstan, and Egypt. Hmm. Mm-hmm. And then there's also other animal-based dreams as well, featuring mice, lice. <laughs> mice and ducks, lice? Squirrels I've never dreamt about lice in my no, entire life. But I bet you that could be somebody who like was sitting there for like eight hours picking out of their kid's hair. And oh, of it, right? oh, yeah. That, well, yeah, you know, yeah. that would be a nightmare. That yeah. would make sense, yeah. Oh, yeah. squirrels and fish. So those are squirrels? the animals. Yeah. I've never dreamt about a squirrel either. Hmm. Okay, what is dreaming about a squirrel? i got to know what dreaming about a squirrel means. You go my dreams it. are so messed up. I'll so dream much. about alligators and bears, yeah. like nightmares, yeah. but not squirrels. I had a nightmare <laughs> last night where I actually woke up, not out of a cold sweat, but I had a nightmare last night where we were in a house, and it wasn't this house, but uh, the power went out, and there were there was fire all around, that was the outside door, there was fire all around us, around the house, and someone said, the sky is green, the sky is green. I'm like, oh my God, a tornado's coming. So it's oh. like a tornado, bad weather, knocked out the power. And, and burning other, shit. other houses were, were lighting on fire. And it, like, we were fucked. <laughs> <laughs> we're fucked. There's fire, there's tornadoes, there's everything and happening. Like, do we get the fire extinguisher? Do we get the hose? Do we go to the basement? I don't know. Then there's my dreams. I'm dressed up like Dolly Parton and wandering <laughs> through a cornfield. Really? Yes. Were you the hell? Were fire? you looking for the children? <laughs> I just remember I said where it was like my grandmother's farm, oh. and she had this huge garden there, and it was all full of corn, and I was like '80s Dolly, oh. <laughs> like, and I'm walking okay. dressed up like her, and I'm walking through the cornfield. <laughs> what did you eat before bed? I don't know. Oh, I don't know. And where can I get some of that? Yeah. <laughs> 
So. Oh, see, if you dream about a squirrel, you're preparing and getting ready for more difficult times ahead. Hmm? That's interesting. Because you're storing nuts. That's right. That's preparing. Right. Preparing with your nuts. Get all your nuts in a row. Get your nuts in a bag. <laughs> got a lovely bunch of nuts. <laughs> Get your nuts here. Yeah. Um, so it says, while animals featured a lot in the study, there were also plenty of other popular subjects, too. So including ex-relationships. That yes. was more specific to japan all these x's why X, not X, presences X. i don't know they don't call them an x for nothing i guess yeah i, I guess they haunt uh, you at night apparently i don't know toga I, I huh thought, i thought that was an outfit you were toga that's toga a, that's a country no toga i don't have toga i thought that was an outfit i have being chased which toga i have or dread. toga toga people dream about fucking togas well, no, no, no. Oh, no, the place. This is about the X, X, like the nightmares most featured around the world. It's. That is Tonga. X is, is Japan, Toga, and Madagascar. Really? Yes. Huh. Uh, and the nightmare of falling into water uh, seemed to affect more people in South Korea. Really? Yeah. Being cheated on was Andorra. I didn't. I thought that was a chick from. Bewitched. I didn't know <laughs> that was a country. See, I'm learning. We're yeah, learning. We're learning. We're learning. We're learning. We're learning. We're learning. Yeah. That's right. Uh, and dreaming about the dead, Costa Rica and Hungary. Yeah. But Hungary, they're dreaming about vampires because that's the undead. And werewolves. And werewolves. Okay, this is just weird. They have like the top. Did you look at the map? Yes, I saw the map. They have like Canada and the US. <laughs> Teeth falling out. <laughs> is this a like, trade map? Yeah, yeah look at look at this. Europe is like all over the place. Snakes, 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 snakes. Pregnancy. Anywhere does it say Dolly Parton in a cornfield? No, no, that might fall under the dead. No, she's not dead. No. Oh, okay. Uh shoes. People dream about shoes. But well, that's not a bad dream. Hair cutting. Mm, hmm. That could be bad if you don't want your hair cut. Eating. Or if it's a really bad haircut. Yeah. That could be a nightmare. Oh, it's all weird. It's all everyone has screams. I'll have to show you guys the spiders. picture of the time that the one girl I used to go to all the time. Not my current girl, but mm -hmm. uh, some other girl. Yeah, and I trusted her implicitly, <laughs> and uh, I, I look like uh, the Mad Hatter. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, it was bad. Anyway, that's a nightmare. So, oh, other countries ranked with slightly less positive subjects. Iceland apparently dreams a lot about snow. No shock well, there. Well. <laughs> Yes. That's all they see, so. Yes. Yeah. Uh, Greece, well, actually, what? Iceland is pretty green and Greenland is pretty icy. It's so. the reverse, yeah. Yeah. That's true. <laughs> um, Greece has a thing about hats. Not that that's a bad dream, but. Oh, it probably um, means some shit. But again, these are slightly positive subjects. Ethiopia dreams about shoes. Yeah. They don't have any. They don't have any and they want some. Oh, that sounds mean. I mean, I didn't mean to be I mean, know, but, but no. That's um, weird. Butan about rainbows. Who's Peter? I've never heard of I don't know. And Albania about breasts. Seriously? <laughs> like just... Or in the, what capacity? Like just floating... Chicken. Or, Dolly Parton. <laughs> Dolly Parton. <laughs> <laughs> huh. Huh. And it says, lots of others dreamt about marriage and pregnancy, which we can guess can be good and bad, uh, as well as money and cutting hair. There's that hair cutting. Yeah, hair. that's weird. Yeah. That is weird. So, I mean... A lot of these aren't really bad. Like, I mean, no. I can I can give you some really bad dreams I've had. Like, I mean, this is nothing. No, this is I a know. cakewalk. This is a cakewalk yeah. shit, man. Yeah. What the hell? Um, oh, Jen, our friend Jen. Jen, Jen. Jen, Jen. Jen. Mm -hmm. We got Jen, Jen, and Jen, Jen. Um, <laughs> finding an unused room. So it says here, if you learn of a new room in your dreams, it denotes new outlooks and abilities that you have realized about yourself. If room is white, it means... You're ready to make a new beginning in your life. She's told me before when we've shared dreams, she's, mm -hmm. she has said that finding strange and new rooms or tunnels in her house, it's a nightmare for her. Like, it really yeah. bothers See, her. See, I have like a reoccurring dream where I'm in my house, Yeah. but it's not my house. Yeah. And then I'll open a door. I'm like, what the fuck room is this? Yeah. This is supposed to be the living room and it's another fucking room. Then I'll go up the stairs. I'm like, what the hell is this? What yeah. room is this? But I do like that. It's... I have those dreams too. But they're usually mansions and the really cool parts of houses, and they go underneath. And I don't mind it. I actually enjoy it, quite frankly. Yeah, I mean, I'm not like I'm afraid. I'm no. just confused. I think she's just scared of secretive passageways and rooms and stuff. It freaks her out. Oh, so I don't, my fear is somebody that's coming cool. to From me. That? Oh, oh. Yeah. like yeah. the last nightmare I had, and I was, I, it was somebody. I heard somebody at the door, mm. and I had gotten up, 
and I could tell someone was trying to get through the door, and the door was unlocked. Oh. And I tried to get yeah, that, and I was just about yeah. to click the deadbolt, and then the door bashed open, and the person standing in the door was Hodor from oh. Game of Thrones. Oh. oh, And he just had this menacing look on his face, like, mm-hmm. I'm in. What yeah. are you eating? And then I slammed the door and locked it, and I woke up, and... Panicking. I literally oh, thought yeah. somebody was coming in my house and I got up and I checked the doors, all the doors and yeah. Yeah. my heart's racing. I don't yeah. like that. That's creepy. But you know, <laughs> you know, yeah. hold door, hold door for is for, right? Eh? Hold the door. Hold the door. Hold the yeah. hold door. Hold the door. Hold Did door. you ever watch that? No. No. Oh, no. Hold door, because, hold door, hold because the door. he, he, he was mentally challenged adult or whatever. And mm-hmm. he was sort of like one of the protectors of the family, like a servant or whatever. Right, right, right. And, uh, I guess when he was a child or younger, he was trying to prevent the bad guys from getting in and he was trying to hold the door. With, really? And that's what he kept on saying. Hold the door. Hold the, hold the door. Hold the door. Uh, like that. And hold door. That's really? Like, yeah. And then while well, his part yeah. came in Game of Thrones when he was actually holding the door. And then he was holding the door. Yeah. He was holding the door. Yeah. He was really holding so the door. Could escape. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Full circle. Yeah. yeah. Interesting. Uh, and now we ruin Game of Thrones for a lot of people who haven't seen it. Oh, well. Oh, well, well. if you haven't seen it by well, now, then well, then just loss. shame on you. Yeah. Shame on me. Yeah. That's on <laughs> you. So. I'm evil, I know. I'm evil. So Come watch on. a lot of TV. I'm terrible. That's about it, I guess. For... I can't find been Googling. I'm it was like kind of Googling lack- a... lackluster. I, I was waiting was for like some gore and shit. I know. I could like give you better horror dreams. Like, okay, dreams. Like, okay what the hell? scariest dreams. I don't even realize the shit on there. Sorry. That was my... What are you tick- talking about? tick a tick tock tick 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 tock tick tock Being naked in public. Did we talk about that one? Like, I used to get those dreams all the time. I'd just be terrified. Yes. You know, or having to pee and find the bathroom or something, right? Yes. Oh, that's the worst. And then I'm like, did I just pee the bed? And I didn't. I don't <laughs> yeah. do that. Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Disclaimer. You wake up. Oh. Big panic. Uh, did I? Did I? <laughs> what was that? What's your Maybe scariest just dream? Go back to sleep and pretend that didn't happen. This is on Quora, Sephora. Yeah. Oh wait, and here it is. Nightmares. It says being chased, unable to find a toilet, naked in public. Why is the toilet thing? Unprepared for an exam. Unprepared for an exam. Oh, God, that's mm. like real life panic. Never mind. Flying, mind. falling. Well, if you're dreaming that you have to find a toilet and you can't, then you better wait. Are then you up. really you gotta go. Before. You get off. <laughs> you have shat yourself. Yeah. yeah. And you could not find <laughs> yeah. the toilet. Yeah. yeah. But yeah. it was such a good sleep. <laughs> I know. You're like, I gotta go. I gotta go. <laughs> yeah. So. Okay. Well, yeah, I guess that's really about I it. I can't yeah. find any scary. Well, there's people talking about monsters here, but. Well, I think that's common, right? Yeah, it is. Yeah. You know, Actually, it's mine is. For some reason, my really scary ones are always about bears. I don't know why. Bears, Not like scary. I've seen a lot of bears in the wild, like, up close that it would, like, kill me. But yeah. But it's always, like, I remember one time I was, like, two bears chasing me, and I had to get behind this big fucking fence, like a super tall fence. Right. Chain length, you know, 20 mm-hmm. feet tall. And I get in there, and they climb. I'm like, well, fuck. <laughs> like, you know, they're yeah, climbing. Yeah. Of course they're climbing. But Actually... Uh, when I went to Red River, I took psychology in the course that I was taking as a part of it, right? Mm-hmm. And uh, we were talking about dreams, and it was pretty cool. And the guy was at, uh, Mr. Lazar, Dr. Lazar, I can't remember his name. Mm-hmm. Anyway, so I had one dream, and I asked him about it, and he had the coolest interpretation. I'm like, oh, you're right. I had I used to have this dream all the time when I was a teenager, young adult. Uh, I would... Uh, be with people and I would pretend be with people? No, no, <laughs> no, no, no touching parts or anything. No, like no boinka with, okay. boinka. No. Um I would like hang out with friends or people or whatever and they were friends or associates and then all of a sudden they would turn into something evil. Oh, like something they would, crappy. Yeah. Like something would come over them almost like you would look at them and the expression on their face would go from like placid or yeah. calm to like just distorted yeah. and evil. Yeah. And they weren't who I thought they were. You know, like I mean mm-hmm. like something, an entity took them over yeah. and we all had to be a part of this entity. Like we all, you know, I had to like blend in like a zombie. You know, yeah, like yeah, I kind of yeah. had to mm-hmm. pretend I was yeah. a zombie. And I, I'd have to go with it to be accepted. So then that way I wouldn't, you know, they wouldn't turn on me. Or and they wouldn't like eat that. you. Yeah. 
And then his interpretation was, is you, you basically, you're not comfortable with some of your friends. Oh, you're like, stimulating oh. to, mm. to he said, you're, you're that's, not approval. That's exactly what I was thinking in my head. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. And I think I'm, because it's been many years and I haven't thought or dreamt like that. You know, I'm, I'm giving you the Coles Notes version. Yeah. But the, how I was describing to him, it was a little differently. Mm-hmm. And then that's what he said. Like he said, you're, you know, there's something you're not comfortable with, you know, with your friends and, um, you know, you just go with it just to make sure that you don't rock the boat and stuff. And I'm like, Oh, oh. oh, well, that's interesting. You're like, never mind. You don't know nothing. Yeah, but it was more like a good versus evil type of scenario mm-hmm. in my dream, like for my life almost, right? So that was just like, oh, my God. Cool. I, I did find actually just before we go this one website that gives actually stats. So uh, this is basically, uh, da, 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 da. so it says, what are the most common nightmares? And they give percentages. I love numbers. Mm-hmm. I love dollar signs and I love percentages. <laughs> so both good. I can mm-hmm. get behind both. So. Falling, uh, I, and I don't know how many people did they uh, ask. Oh, it says surveyed up to 2,000 people. So okay. That's a good solid yeah. number. Yeah. I like 2,000, you know. Yeah. Falling, uh, falling, 64.7%. That was their nightmare. Uh, being chased, 63.3%. Mm-hmm. Death, 54.9%. Mm-hmm. Feeling lost, 53.8%. Feeling trapped, 524 mm-hmm. Those would all be shitty dreams. Being attacked. Yes. Mm-hmm. Being attacked. I've, mm-hmm. I've jumped to that more. 49.5 percent. Yes. Mm-hmm. Missing an important event. I get that a lot. 43.7 percent. Uh, waking up late. I get that all the time. <laughs> That's 40... my real life, though. <laughs> As I roll out of bed at 7:45, starting at 8 o'clock. Uh, loved, loved one passing. Oh, that sucks. 35.8 percent. Sustaining an injury. 35.1 percent. Teeth falling out. 34.3 percent. Natural disaster, which I had last night, 31.9%. Mm. Visit by deceased family or friend. Yeah, I get that too. 27.6%. Taking feeling unprepared for an exam, 27.2%. Spouse leaving you, 27%. Being paralyzed, but now I think that's sleep paralysis, 26.2%. Drowning, 22.1%. Oh, that would be a horrible dream. Malformation on your body, 178 <laughs> Jolly Parton. Um... <laughs> I like sleeping. Excuse me. Excuse me. Just a nice change up, you know. <laughs> personal, I wouldn't be able to see my iPad. <laughs> personal flotation devices. Yeah. Uh, losing a personal effect, 16%. Bugs crawling on you, 14.6. Mm. Fire your house burning down, 143 Car trouble, 137 I always car lose trouble? my car in my dream. I lose my car. I park it and can't find yeah. it. Yeah. I hate that. <laughs> Inability to find your... Oh, I said that. Sorry. Yeah. Inability to keep your train of thought. <laughs> 300%. No. Uh, technology malfunction. Uh, really? 7.3%. People dream yeah. about that? Well, IT maybe. people, maybe. I yeah. Can't, you I will can't, tonight. Yeah. I, I, can't, uh, I can't dial on phones in my dreams. I don't know. Really? Going bald, 4.7%. Going bald. Yeah. So these are just common mm. nightmarish for 2,000 people. What about so. lucid dreamers? Does it show a percentage of people who no. get a lucid dream? No. It just says here, many of the respondents on the survey, it said uh, the nightmares were shrouded in fear. They felt that fear. They felt apprehensive. They felt anxious. They said... Uh, it wasn't just like, oh, yeah, I jumped about one hour. Yeah, no, yeah. it was... Uh, it, it caused them... like It was a full yeah. extreme of anxiety or sorrow. And it said 65% of the survey ta- takers experienced falling most frequently in their dreams. Fifty five percent of adults have experienced at least one lucid dream in their lifetime. And twenty three percent of people have one once a month. Yeah. I'm a lucid dreamer. I yeah. love lucid dreams. If I don't like something I can literally rewind and do it over again. Oh, oh that's really? nice. Yeah. Very nice. There is actually a uh, binaural beats you can actually find certain songs, if you want to call them songs, that will actually induce lucid dreaming. I've done oh, that. Yeah. It's actually quite nice. I like that. There was one dream I had. It was really cool that I could shoot fireballs from my hand and I could fly. Oh, you were Mario. So cool. Sweet. You were like Mario. Yeah. Oh, it was like very magical. Dreams. I was like some sort of mage and I was throwing fireballs. And at first they came out like, boom. And then I kept <laughs> going until I got boom. the fireball that I wanted. And same thing when I was trying to fly over these huge trees. Hey, boom. I couldn't get enough momentum over and i went back and rewound and uh-huh. till i could oh my god that's, that's pretty amazing cool. i like that you're lucky yeah i don't dream of normal things i don't dream of cars I or don't. snakes yeah, or like, no i think my dreams are pretty weird too i always feel like i'm living somebody else's life when i dream that's how mm-hmm. i feel truly never the same dream twice but 
um yeah so i guess that's it about just nightmare dreams and how it affects i mean just a ramble so today just to kind of you know share get our shit going some info info so now that we've packed this one in because we have one more quick quickie we have a quickie ramble so to do do we if we do real okay. quick all right and real quick. thanks again jan jan thanks for having jan. me from the Babble Merchants podcast. She's like from the Babble I'm so merchants. scared I am going to like screw that up a little bit. I'm going to say Merchant Babble or... I, I almost want to say Merchant Babble too. I don't know why. Yeah, Babble I don't know. Merchants. I know, I know. I know. So a new podcast yeah. and uh, proud to have her here with us. And yeah, so thanks again for listening. We are found everywhere. Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, uh, YouTube, Um I don't know. A whole bunch of platforms. Yeah, I don't know. You, you, Everywhere. If you know us, you know us. Just just if Google you us. You'll find us That's somewhere. Right. Exactly. Yeah, we're there. And if you They're want like whack a moles, they pop up. Whack a moles. Oh. I love that description. That's oh, whack a whack a whack a moles. Spook. No, whack a whack a ghost. Whack a ghost. <laughs> <laughs> whack a spook. <laughs> they both sound terrible. Sorry. Uh, yeah, I just I don't think that there's no like a bad way to spook. What was that, that like creepy juicy? <laughs> creepy juicy. Juicy creepy. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And uh, where do they get hold of a share? Uh, give me the boot. Blah, 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 blah. Blah, blah, blah. Give me up the ghost podcast at gmail.com. Excellent. And remember to live every day like it is your last. But dream in techno color. And never give up the ghost. All right. Never <laughs> give up the ghost. Never give up the ghost. It's better than comments. That's right. No comments. <laughs> no, no love, no love. <laughs>